So in today's video we're going to talk very much about ball striking and we're going to talk about how actually better ball striking and compressing the golf ball is way way closer than you actually think. Now many golfers I would say get the wrong idea about what they're trying to do with their body and with their, their arm move. So I meet a lot of golfers that are trying to do desperate things like really exaggerate driving elbow movements coming in towards the downswing position and then they're trying to really exasperate loads of you know rotational motions and they kind of just get themselves looking relatively contorted. So the first thing that we need to understand is what are we trying to do with the body, okay? What should be happening, particularly with our upper body? Now, in this lesson, I want us to really focus on our sternum location. So when we get set up, we want the sternum to be located over the golf ball. And then in the backswing position, although our intention, in, particularly in the early backswing, is to try and stay quite centralized over the ball, you are, you are going to inevitably move over towards your trail side as you get to the top of the backswing. So this means that in the start of the downswing, we have to really focus on, yes, the lower body but also the upper body it has to move back towards our lead side okay like so and what we're looking for is as I start this downswing position I need to make sure my sternum is anything from two maybe three four inches to the left of that golf ball as I'm coming in towards that early downswing so a good exercise for this is first of all just practice keeping your head still turn your chest turn your chest turn your chest turn your chest and then once you become accustomed to that put your hands together in like a prayer position place your right hand underneath your left hand like so and then from here swing up to the top and pause use your right arm or your trail hand to keep your lead arm elevated and just practice turning your chest over your lead leg in, so you can get that feeling of starting the downswing with your chest moving down over towards your lead side so it re-establishes that sternum ahead of the ball, okay? So if you can get your sternum ahead of the golf ball by lead arm horizontal in this position, that's pretty much gonna guarantee really good striking contact. Now, what this does, is this then frees up the feeling that you're gonna to have to really drive and contort your arm into a weird position with this hand. This hand can now just release. And what I mean very much by release is just get the feeling that my upper arm moves to the side of my body, like so, as I keep my right forearm up towards the sky. So if I can blend these two feelings of turning my chest down over towards my lead leg, so my sternum moves ahead of the ball, whilst I simultaneously allow my trail arm just to straighten as I come in towards the downswing, what you'll start to notice by practicing this is the way that your hands will naturally make their way towards the golf ball because of this great combination of good chest rotation and an arm release. And that will mean that when you go and hit some shots, it'll actually feel quite easy because you'll then just get that sense of turning your chest as you straighten your arm. And this is where the swing buddy really does come into its own. So this is something that I use all the time, particularly before a round of golf where all I'm doing is I'm just turning my chest as I allow my arm to just straighten and it just gives me that freedom to really feel like I just whip that club through the golf ball and that makes ball striking way easier. So try to make sure that you understand that your sternum has a very profound effect on where the club is likely to come down and as long as you get that chest moving down over towards that lead leg that then gives you the freedom just to let that arm release. And obviously, as soon as you let that arm release, the whole swing is just going to become way more effortless and more of that sort of whip effect. So work on it. Let me know how you get on. I'll see you guys again really soon.